a just recorded episode 87 of the podcast add on sabi and ugly chulo two local cats two local rappers very talented uh very fun to talk to these guys uh were super cool super chill they've got music coming sabi's got an album or an ep i don't know what ep means but people say it he's got an ep coming out july 7th shut up dogs um july 7th called clickbait and then uh you know they're working on some music these guys uh are going hard check out uh check them both out on spotify sabi with two eyes uh or soundcloud they're both on spotify both on soundcloud apple music everywhere you find music it's great uh the song i'm gonna play is produced by dolores another another local dude and it's got uh it's got sabi and uchula on it it's called cherish uh, please, uh, oh, thank you for listening to the podcast. A um, little update about me. Just got back from Santa Fe uh, with my lady. Had a good time. I had to replace a battery, but it was still fun. That's why um, I didn't release a podcast last weekend. We were in Albuquerque. This weekend we were in Santa Fe. Um, had a great time. Had a lot of fun. Met some great people. And I'm back. And we got some shows coming up. Got a show Friday at R and R Bar, the back room. Uh, come see us. I'll be hosting. A lot of funny guys. Cole Rogers is headlining. He does magic. You know. So he'll he'll magic your face off, as as they say, in the in the magical realm. He was actually in the last episode. So yeah, the guy from episode eighty six. He's gonna be headlining at R and R Bar. So hey, check it out. And then. Next day is Lovestock. We got Yellow City Comedy all up in that thing. Lovestock Zombies. Uh, I'm going to start my set at 6.45, I think. And then uh, we're just going to go from there. Once uh, One comedian an hour between sets. Uh, last time I did this at Leftwoods, it went terrible. But we're going to try again. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'm okay with bombing. It's fine because I got on stage. It's all that matters, you know, I think. In the grand scheme of things, it's called getting reps. It's called clocking in. Try it sometime uh, in your life. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, like I said, thanks for listening. You guys have been awesome. Uh, we've got a lot coming up in July that I don't even know about yet. we got a new open mic at Tees Bar. We're going to start a new open mic at Mulligan's as well. Um, so this thing is just getting started. We're catching steam. We're rolling. We're getting new comics all the time. Uh, shit's going to be big, homies. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, friends, people I don't know, just keep watching, you know. Uh, Like Yellow City Comedy on Facebook. Let me know if you want some t-shirts. We got YCC t-shirts. Bomb City Explosion. And uh, we've got a show off the hook in July as well. Got a couple shows. I think we got a show at Zombies. Got a show at Cactus Bar at the end of July. So, you know, uh, things are rolling. Things are going well. Hope things are going well in your life, you know, every day. Focus on getting better. Whatever good habit you want to have, whatever bad habit you have, replace it with a good habit, you know. And it takes like 21 days, I think, is the science. But fuck science. Just do it. Just do it because you love yourself. Just do it because you want to be better, you know. Follow your dreams. That's the point. The point of this podcast was to have on inspiring people, people that inspire me. And it's been going great, you know. These guys inspire me. I think uh, there's a lot of similarities when it comes to you know hip-hop and and stand-up comedy you know because you're up there you're by yourself you're doing your thing you know behind the scenes no one notices behind the scenes but behind the scenes you got to work your ass off you got to lose sleep you got to lose friends you know ruin relationships sometimes if they're bad if they're toxic um but yeah it's just you know putting that putting your whole being your whole essence your whole soul into something and creating art creating beauty creating something that the world can relate to and that's really all i'm trying to do is just i'm trying to get better every day whether it's physically mentally spiritually you know just taking care of my mind and body so that i can do this longer so that i can have good stories to tell and so that i don't die you know fat and young so you guys you know good talking with you i hope you have a great day i hope you're having a good time this morning at work or on your way to work or you know hanging out at home jobless but hey do what you love and love what you do thank you for listening this song is cherish 
by Ugly Chulo and Sabi, produced by Dolores. And I do want to have Dolores on soon. He seems like a really dope dude. Anyway, please enjoy this episode. Please enjoy this song. I will put a link in the description, and I'll play the end of the song at the end of the part. I'm going to edit some things, okay? But uh, please enjoy. Back of the forest, look at this, I'm way too seen My girl photogenic, see you staring, yeah, you seen it Gold medal wearing champion, six rings, Michael Jordan Gold medal wearing champion, six rings, Michael Jordan yeah. Gold medal wearing champion, six rings, Michael Jordan yeah. bad part is the dogs they bark their asses off in the middle of my podcast but other than that you know <laughs> it's chill it's chill how many is there two there's three corgis and then there's this like australian shepherd oh. but it doesn't have a neck so like <laughs> it's a weird look it looks like it got squished <laughs> neck face <laughs> yeah it's messed up so uh almost got arrested today oh shit you just <laughs> didn't even get close i just stayed indoors bro was... that's scary it was, cause I was like, "Fuck," I I just know like one thing can lead to anything else with the police, mm, you know. For sure, for sure. But I just fucking hit out, and then I I made a plan. We uh like an hour went by. We walked out the back gate with the dog and a leash. Made mm-hmm. it look like we were out walking the dog, cause it, you can't they can't see us walking out from that angle. And so we walked around the front, took the dog inside, <laughs> went back across the street, and just talked it out. And told him, like, I left the claim in the mailbox like a dumbass. I should have put on your windshield. <coughs> oh, yeah. Because you can get in trouble for, like, opening. Have y'all, uh, like, done podcasts before? Um, we did, No, like, we've done some interviews, like, yeah. lengthy ones mm-hmm. that... Well, actually, we have done a podcast with some AC students. Nice. Yeah. That's what's up. I watched uh, the last interview. I guess you uploaded on YouTube. Oh, yeah. The video one? Yeah. Yeah. With Scott Stein. That was cool. He filmed that Fun shit. Stuff. Yeah, it was cool. He came through with hella gear, and we just filmed in my garage. That's what's up. That's what's up. Anyway, thank you for coming. I started the podcast. I'm here with Sabi and Ugly Chulo, members of Bad Grammar. There's one more guy in Bad Grammar, right? Yeah. Is he a producer? Producer, songwriter. Okay, nice. All around badass. Yeah, he's the bare face. <laughs> he's our bare face. Bare face. Musically, I- yeah. I don't know. Brockhampton. I don't know what bear face. Okay. Oh, he's like the, <laughs> he's like the low key he's got like the face of a bear. He's <laughs> a pig bear man. Yeah, he's the the mastermind. That's yeah, cool. He's yeah, he's musical like leader of it. Dope. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I've heard like Bleach. It's Brock only Brockhampton song I've heard. Oh, okay. But it's cool. Mm-hmm. I think uh, some people told me about it. I'll get to them at some point. They're from Texas, right? Um, some yes. are. They they like we're an internet thing. Yeah. Mm. But. The main dude, Kevin, he's from, like, Corpus. Kevin Abstract. Yeah. I know that dude. Yeah. I don't know him, but <laughs> I've seen his you name. You know his name. Yeah. <laughs> he's dope. But anyway, um, introduce yourselves. Uh, I guess just tell the listeners, kind of give them a background, like, how you grew up, uh, what got you into music, you know, mm-hmm. how you guys met each other. You can go first. Start, start at the beginning. <laughs> shit. Start as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, my shit started probably around 17, 18. When I actually started, like, trying to make music, mm. my first start with music started, like, young, like, 13. I had an uncle. He was a DJ, and he worked for the radio in Hereford, Texas. That's where I grew up. And my yeah. aunt was a principal of, like, Shirley Intermediate. And they would have these dances, like, twice a month. And he would have to work his shift for, like, the first hour and a half. So I would DJ these dances, like, when I was 13. 
and that was that was my start i really got into music that way i nice. started learning like genres and that was fun you know but uh started making music 17 18 and then probably about 22 i stopped for a few years mm. and then about 25 picked it up now i'm 29 you're 29 yeah damn yeah damn. i'm grown <laughs> young looking man i know right <laughs> i'm gonna ride that see how old do i look I mean, honestly, I, I would like think 25. you're. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I, feel I like am you're 25. My age. You're 25. Yeah. Bro, on the dot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, I feel like you're grown, more grown than me. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big ass child. So you don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what about uh? Oh, how'd, sorry. You, how'd you get started? Um, I I've been rapping. I uh, started middle school, and then. Um, I burn CDs. Well, like I would like rap on like the laptop mic, the laptop mm-hmm. mic, and then I'd burn CDs, and I'd just give them to everybody. And I give it to my neighbors, and they gave me like like a month later, they gave me like a free like MacBook because <laughs> like I guess his the husband bought it for his wife. The wife didn't want it. So Damn, you're a good like, neighbor, bro. Yeah, and, <laughs> but real. that's that honestly like. <laughs> helped me a lot and then got me more deep into music found the love for it and now i'm here so extra macbooks that's what's up <laughs> yeah. do you yeah. uh do you have your own solo stuff as well yeah i'm gonna drop something next month uh july 7th yeah it's gonna be called nice. clickbait it's clickbait. gonna be all produced self-produced written by self-produced that's, yeah, what's that's, up. Awesome. that's what's up yep. i was wanting to ask i don't want to go out of order it doesn't matter it's a podcast anyway you're a producer on the chulo's revenge is that a dude from New Zealand? Yeah. Because I saw his Instagram. He looks like he's like 15 years old. Yo, he, he's 16. That's crazy. <laughs> what a badass. Yo, he, he's he's super dope, man. How and did he's, you link up with that guy? It's crazy. I, tw- I used to tweet like free features all year and random people would like find that shit. And some New Zealand kid found it. And the beat he sent me was produced by Zaya. And uh, Zaya, like, he liked my verse, and he just hit me up. Ever since then, we've been chopping beats back and forth. And Damn, that's crazy. He's still sending me beats, like, the week after Chulo's Revenge drop. Like, he, he's busy. I like that kid, man. He's super cool. Oh, yeah, that's a really dope album, by the way. Thank you, man. I bumped that all the time. I was listening to it. I was on a car trip, but on the way here, I was, like, listening to everything. Hell, yeah. It's, like, uh, hey. <laughs> good vibes, man. It's, Thank it's you. like, uh, inspirational, you yeah. know? It inspires me. I like it. Nice. There's, like, man. a positive theme behind your lyrics yeah i don't know if that's like has it always been that way or is that more recent um i've always tried to have it you know but so i mean definitely i was saying i was i have some dark stuff on other projects Mm -hmm. like ugly house is kind of dark but i've always tried to still be i noticed that they have a the angelic devil where it's like you're an angel i forgot the exact words angel i'm an angel and i'm an angel what is that what do you mean by that exactly um in hell i'm an angel bro um how do i explain that um i've always felt kind of like demonized Mm -hmm. people always like i always hear people say like i've heard negative things about you why like i don't know i don't know the reasons Mm -hmm. but like i always feel like for some reason some people just see me like i know i'm an angel like i I do i mess up but i try my best and i try to do best and be good to people not screw people over like creatively when we're working Mm -hmm. so yeah that's the thing so i still i know truth in hell i'm an angel that's dope yeah. i like that it's true though because like when i didn't know you bro like you, you <laughs> said like i thought you were something else and it's yeah. like that's just how really? it is so nice man really <laughs> the nicest guy i know yeah bro. you too though bro <laughs> how long have y'all been working together uh about over a year yeah nice. a year, i met him months. at a he had a art show at his apartment <laughs> And this motherfucker, I remember leaving and he was drunk. On, he was laying on the ground, like <laughs> upside down or something, man. But yeah, was yeah I met him through Ado, and that's. I don't. We kind of just started talking then, but yeah, we've yeah. probably been working for over. I mean, we dropped the Bad Grammar album a year ago. So, so it's been yeah. probably a year and a half. So you both do art? Because, yeah. like, I know you have your own logo and yeah. clothing and everything. Yeah, this man does graffiti. <laughs> And I do like a lot of design and graphic design and oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of things going on. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had that uh that logo with the I guess it's a demon? Yeah, where's the uh, this one? Yeah, that one. 
That's one. Um, well, he's kind of like evolved over the years. So um, this particular one's probably been about probably almost two years, and then I had one before that mm. for a few years. But I don't know why I used to have like horn looking shapes on the bottom and look like teeth. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, I gotta get the horns. <laughs> so it was cool though. It just it gets better. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. And you said uh, you started taking it serious at seventeen. Was there like uh, like something that clicked, and like in your mind, was there like a moment where you're like, all right, I'm gonna stop fucking around? Um, nah. I mean, it. I don't know if it was a moment. It was kind of like over a period of time. I just skateboarding was kind of like pushed me to do other things creatively because mm -hmm. like i nobody ever was like you should do music you should be in band my mom didn't let me be in band she didn't want to pay for an instrument which she says she regrets now but that should happen <laughs> <laughs> and like i just i just never got like what i really wanted like i didn't yeah. nobody showed me what i wanted yeah. early enough you know nothing, like djing was stimulated your mind yeah and skateboarding like I started watching skate videos. It showed me music I never knew. And then realizing skaters themselves are like all multi like talented. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of, that's what pushed me to do it. And like Kid Cudi was my favorite artist back then. And oh, same. That dude made still me feel like, artist. he made me feel comfortable. Yeah. He's definitely still like one of the best to me. Um, but yeah, he, he helped me too. Cause like 2008 was like day and night. Mm hmm. Um, that song and then a kid named Cuddy and like he was just so strange like I was like oh Definitely. shit like weirdos can rap now <laughs> you know hell yeah Kid Cuddy Kanye West yeah two of the biggest ways. weirdos <laughs> for real man that was a golden era <laughs> for sure but yeah like uh, so I guess you said skateboarding being multifaceted kind of inspired inspires you to make music mm. um so what about you do you uh like what inspired you inspires you to rap you know what inspires you to make music be creative dang um well i mean i when i listen to music other artists um i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to sound all cool i got nothing cool to say <laughs> you don't have to sound cool <laughs> all right you i'm just, just gonna be me bro <laughs> plead all the right. fifth i mean like when i listen to like i don't artists, answer questions like, <laughs> isaiah rashad or oh, yeah. uh, uh chance they mm -hmm. really like open different doors in my mind mm -hmm. and like just how like in depth they just cut deep in a different way yeah and it's just absolutely very personal and like i'm, I'm trying to do that and uh, oh, like Smino, man. I was about to say, like, Sabi. Yeah, dope. I like, can see a little Smino influence for yes, sure. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys heard of a, a guy named Toby Wigway? Is that how you say it? I don't know how you say his last name. It's like N W I G W E. I haven't. I haven't. Toby. I just, like, I heard his raps on, on Facebook and then I just started playing them like a week ago. But is he, is he local a, or? No, he's no. like, a, I don't even know where he's from. Oh, I just. Boy. He has a song with Smino, doesn't he? He might. I don't know. But But I think I know I know I think I know. He's that. super dope though. I really like his flow. Yeah. He's sick. He's like wavy. Yeah. In the end, but he's like very lyrical. If I'm thinking of the same like, person, yeah, he's super lyrical. Yeah. Hell yeah. Very wavy. I'm about to check him out. Yeah, it's he's an interesting dude. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh show. Toby what? I think I think it's Wigway, but I don't it starts with an N and I don't uh, want to say Nigway, you know, because uh, that <laughs> might be racist. <laughs> So it's a weird way. Yeah, you can say nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a word. I didn't do it. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. So um, is bad grammar still a, still something you plan on working on in the future? Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. We, we FaceTime David and all the time, every week, a few times. And we're, we got like five songs, five to six songs nice. right now. We want to release one soon, a single, but we're trying to drop a EP before mm -hmm. the end of the year. Was that a song cherish? Was that made for like a bad grammar project, or was that just something y'all threw out? Just a single. Yeah, it was just something we Dolores, made. Dolores, he, I mean, Fishy needed to drop, drop a, yeah. drop a gem. Man. He seems like a really cool dude. He is, man. He's right. interesting. I, he's out of town, or he'd be here with us. Like, yeah. that's, oh, nice. He's, we're always That'd together. Be cool. I have another mic. I could have thrown it up shit <laughs> One of us could i'm sure shit. he'll be down to come if you ever want him <laughs> oh yeah for sure i do i want to know more about that guy yeah 
Seems yeah. super interesting. He is. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's he is. a trip, man. He's an audiophile too. Like, yeah. he loves music. He be coming over my house weekdays to like it eleven and twelve, and I'm like, dude, I gotta work at seven thirty. Gotta yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> I love him though, cause his work ethic is yeah, mm-hmm. he's dedicated. Strong. That's important. Yeah, for sure. You gotta keep those people around you. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, how do you guys set time? Uh, aside every day to make music or is it like you know a weekend thing it it varies i mean um for a long time it was like every day Mm -hmm. right after work get to it and then you know um stuff happens life happens and i'm we recently moved so like we're transitioning but right now it's just i try to make it work i just make it work to where whenever i have the time i gotta do it like Mm -hmm. because there's some days you're not gonna be able to now i mean it's it's harder the older you get too for sure definitely more, more, more shit going on yeah family all kinds of stuff comes up but um right now like i'm i'm about to make myself get back to like a every other day thing or something mm-hmm. get back to a routine of like working on it because I've, I've come slack in the back of my head I yeah it's a thing yeah <laughs> never goes away <laughs> for sure so uh what else was I gonna ask? What uh, what artists uh, do you guys like? I don't know. Get inspiration from? I know you said Kid Cudi, but uh, who are some other people? And you mentioned uh, Chance the Rapper. I don't know. Like, who are you listening to like right now? That's like Tierra Whack. She's oh, dope. she's really good. Yeah, um, she's super dope. Rico Nasty too. I'm really fucking with a lot of girls lately. Like yeah, they they were both on the the freshman list too. Yeah, and it was well deserved. Yeah, um, that was super tight. Actually, Excel list was pretty dope this year. Yeah, it really was. I mean, not the main me man. Have you seen it? I saw. I I was cool with Tierra Whack. I didn't know anybody. Else. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the other ten. Yeah, nine, I didn't know anybody. Buckle. else. Like, ah, whatever, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I don't like all of the people on there, but they made sense to me. Like mm-hmm. Blueface was on there, that makes sense. Yeah, Ooh, the baby, it's like mainstream. But I really, Tierra Whack. Oh, sorry, dude. What have you been bumping? Um, I know he's always bumping Smino. Yeah, Saba. Mm. Um, I'm I was uh, what was her name? She has a song called Black Truck. She's cool. Um. <laughs> I haven't heard it. Uh, yeah, Black just a truck. lot of artists. Mm. <laughs> and just a lot of yeah. artists. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really think right now. That's uh, fair. Who That's was fair. You like No Name? Have you heard of her? No Name Gypsy? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah fuck with her. She She's sick. I heard her through Chance the Rapper, and I listened to her. Yeah. Her last like solo project was really good. Uh-huh. Anderson's new project is pretty good. Anderson Pack. Oh yes, yeah. He he's dope too. He's a, like yeah. musician. I watched, he was on uh, what's that thing called? The library. Oh, the uh, NPR silent yeah. desk. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, silent tiny, de- de- tiny desk. Tiny desk. Tiny desk. <laughs> What'd you call it? Silent desk. <laughs> silent desk. Uh, library. <laughs> Just a bunch of mimes. Anderson Pog. He killed it too. Yeah, um, but those are fun. Y'all should, y'all should get on that. Yeah, that's that's a fucking list. <laughs> I didn't uh ride the Tyler wave. Did y'all like his new album? I did, but like I don't feel like listening to it again. So it's like, <laughs> did I like it as much as I thought I did? That's I the real question. Production a lot. Mm. The production was good. Some of but, the vo- like voiceover, like lyrics. I mean, I'm, lyrics were good. Voices were just like. I've always been a Tyler fan. I think his last album was probably my The Flower Boy. Yeah, it's going to fuck Flower Boy. That was a good one. So good. So good. And then I liked Wolf a lot. Wolf was like his. Like in between being psycho and being soft, mm. <laughs> this is his last his transition. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny how far that dude's come from. Yeah, when he's and <laughs> the brand. That's the way to do it. I mean, you're kind of doing the same thing. So yeah, For on real, a small bro. scale. That's what's up. <laughs> we gotta level up. <laughs> Just gotta get that that complex endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you get any uh, people trying to? Like get you to wear their products or anything? No, no. Nah. Local brands, but I just wasn't feeling it. I feel like majority of the time you do a lot of giveaways. Yeah, you're I, just showing love. Bro. I'm trying to get my shit out. Mm-hmm. Local love. But 
I, I kind of stopped. I used to get screen printing a lot of shirts with free cheese locally, and they're dope. They're still dope. And But I just stopped making shirts because I was kind of losing money. <laughs> I just started giving shit away. I'm at the shows and like... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And I just lose money. And I gotta... I can't do that. Mm. I ain't balling to be doing that. I understand. Y'all yeah. y'all put up art shows though, right? Is that what you were saying? Like you, you had an art show at your house? Oh, um, yeah, um... Yeah, it was a few years ago. Yeah, that was with um, some, like, old homies, and, like, they got evicted for it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> really? I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> that was legendary. That's a wild art show. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, Shit. this is art. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We were, uh, when we were in a collective all together, we used to do a lot of shows and events. Mm -hmm. um, now we, we're not really hosting them. I think we're going to try to do something in August. With the homies, courts, the young guys, Talton and them, Aiden. So, but yeah, I don't know. I think the next move is like a Texas tour. Oh, yeah. Have, yeah. have y'all been able to tour at all? No. no um, not yet. Yeah. We haven't tried to, but yeah. I think we, we're we going to start planning for sure. We already wore out like the Amarillo spot. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've done a lot of shows here. And it's not, there's never enough. Yeah. Like, no, I know, I know that feeling yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a small <laughs> circuit. There's only so many places you can go in Amarillo. Yeah. 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 So we definitely want to see some new faces, new people, new mm -hmm. places. It's exciting. Do you have any, uh, like connections like, um, for the tour yet? Um, we, we have, I have some friends in different cities that are like, in the scene in their town that I think will help us out oh, getting yeah. the venue set up but um there's definitely some towns we want to see what we can do we, I want to hit some like I mean we definitely want to stop like around all the majors but like mm -hmm. you know like Odessa or Corpus mm -hmm. and we know I know people in Corpus like it'll be fun hell yeah sit some like different places that'd be dope Odessa might be full kind of like cool I don't know Lubbock <laughs> just to, it, just bro. to check it you know <laughs> might as well. yeah Oh yeah, there's a there's gonna be a Lubbock rapper at Lovestock, Booga Bradshaw. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but nah. is he dope? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Like I, I I'm follow his sister on Twitter, and then <laughs> I saw them interact. It's the only reason I know him. <laughs> so I don't really know him, but like I checked his stuff out on YouTube. He's pretty good. He's doing well. So that should be cool. It'll be my first time to see him perform. Word. So yeah, Lovestock should be fun. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of artists on there. Yeah, I don't think I know most of them, but that'll be exciting. There's a lot. It'd be interesting once we go, I guess. I don't know. Is that next weekend? Yeah. Twenty so. eighth, I think. The twenty ninth. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably it's probably gonna be weird. Last time we did comedy in between like music acts, it was it was awful, so <laughs> <laughs> Oh really? Just the yeah. dead crowd? <laughs> Just as the crowd doesn't care about you. you know? uh, Just, uh, put someone else up. But fuck. I mean <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, it's an opportunity. I'll take it. What what's, <laughs> what venue are you gonna be at? At uh, it'll be a zombies. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a good stage. Yeah, zombies was cool last time I was there. So. Yeah, I like that that outdoor setup. It's really. They nice. got a mural now on that wall. Oh yeah. From like a lot of good artists. Oh. I think they got like King Graffiti Boy. He's a legend, bro. I think you hear a tornado warning in the background. Right. We're going to gonna die. die during this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Down. Be a historical podcast. Mm -hmm, right. Let's upload it. <laughs> before we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Texas tour would be dope. You should definitely do that. You should get on that bus. Smooth taste is on. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll that's buy crazy. a short bus, bro. Background short bus. Even just seeing that, them doing that, was just very inspirational. Yeah. That's yeah. Badass. Like, like and you can do it. Anybody like, could do that shit, yeah, man. Bro. Just put your money towards it. Yeah, it seemed to me, I was like, man, we could do that. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. Do y'all you, you know uh, Jay Hair? Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, he was at their Going Away concert. And he was like on stage introducing everybody and i was just like damn i'm so proud of this guy like i've known him for like probably two or three years and I, I didn't know like he was that much of like a showman you know but he does acting classes he's a cool uh, dude he does a lot of shit it's just it's cool to see people like doing well yeah yeah it's a good time yeah the scenes it's like kind of like slowly thriving you know it really is it really is there's a lot of good albums this year like local albums Psh, yeah i'm shook dude like yeah, smooth taste, Ain't lake no, dags, yeah. chords. 
It's nothing like generic. It's all what was natural. the what was the third one you named? Quartz. Quartz. It's like C O R T S, mm-hmm. and they're yeah. I think they're sophomores in high school, but they're really talented. Yeah, they have a. Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Self produced. Crazy genre. It's like R and B slash like electronic slash rap. Yeah, <laughs> it's I got a feature with them on there. It's it's cool. I like them dudes, man. That's who we're trying to get that show with next month. I think we're gonna set that up. Where at? At a hangar. Mm-hmm. Some I'm gonna just say some rich dude's crib, man. <laughs> he got like an airplane <laughs> hangar and they have a stage set up in there. Dope. They had a show there a few months back with Lake Dads and Smooth Taste. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the one I missed. Yeah, because I told him I, cool I talked spot, to him about. Yeah. It. He was like, it was weird. Everyone there was in high school. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> courts, man, they, they yeah, fucking they bring a crowd. I think being in high school, yeah. When you're in high school, man, you just connected to people. Mm-hmm. It's easier. Definitely. And they're good, so it, that helps. They are good. Are you from uh, Hereford as well? No, I'm from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. What high school did you go to? Ooh, I keep doing that. I'm so sorry. Tascosa. Tascosa. It's a good one. Beer. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another beer. So y'all got uh, any performances in Amarillo coming up? Uh, that that one is just that hanger, yeah. Yeah, maybe in I don't know, like an Alice show, but um, yeah. yeah, we were gonna do this going away party for Drake Hutton. Oh yeah, but he he moved. He was like, I'm out of here. Oh, he canceled that. Yeah, I I think they uh he invited me to it <laughs> recently. <laughs> no, like it was a while back. It was a while. It was when you guys were on stage at the oh, festival oh, Bad Magic. Oh yes, man. He was like, "Come to my going away party." Yeah, dude. I designed <laughs> he already a left? flyer for him and stickers. He had stickers made at my house. When he was like, "Fuck y'all," I was playing. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think he like set up something with his homie to like the people that were on that show could be a part of a love stock day too. But we, we, I just wasn't feeling it. We mm. I wanted to do that going away thing with Drake. That would have been fun. But yeah, that would have been cool. All good though. So I mean, that was our show we had. But mm-hmm. I think August we're gonna do something before like back to school. Hell yeah. So yeah, and then uh, I'm future man. Later down the run, I want to do something with the 806 again. I want to try to like. I don't know. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna talk to Jason. Meadow Six is a cool place. Yeah, I haven't performed there in a long time. I was looking at your Instagram uh, today, actually. It was, uh, I think it was from 2017, but it looked like there was a big ass crowd around you over at the 806. It was wild. That was the night the community art gallery opened. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember. That was next door to the 806. Okay, yeah. It's a new business now, but yeah, that was that was fucking sick, man. Felt the love that night. Hell yeah. Like, I, yeah, that was super dope. It was a good time in the collective. Everything was positive. But, yeah, that would up. be cool to, like, try to get another big crowd in there. Start Definitely. Need to, like, need to bring some something. <laughs> and it's just, like, the the size of the room. Like, I don't know, something about that room brings a lot of energy. It does. It does. Unless you're, like, you know, at open mic and you're just eating shit. <laughs> 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 and you're just like, I'm going to go home. <laughs> But no, 806 is dope. I like that place a lot. Yeah, um, I like it. I'll fuck with Jason, man. And that uh, that art 2740. I don't know, but that that was a great venue. That one you performed at with uh, what's his name? Tory Nix, the dude from Kansas. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was cool. That was different, man. Was I want to cool go room. back there. Honestly, we could host our shit there if we wanted. Definitely. Our own shit. Dang. My homie uh, won the fifty percent off coupon, bro. <laughs> Come <Hell> on, yeah. <laughs> let's capitalize. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like that, man. That was fun. Tori was super cool. Hi, America, man. Shout out them. Yeah, those are cool dudes. Yeah, he's gonna be at. Um, I think Love Stock Day too. Oh, I saw yeah, his name on there. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. I see them making moves. Definitely. It's crazy because like uh, it's so it's so easy to complain like about your hometown. And then I talked to those guys, and they're like, we're in a town from 10,000 people where there's literally not shit to do. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's like, well, I, feel, I feel so blessed to be in Amarillo. <laughs> Damn, that's that's crazy, you know? Different perspective. <laughs> yeah. Because I, uh, I went to their town, Garden City, and, like, they, their bars, they have two bars, but they're both, like, restaurants. So they go to, like... <laughs> it's like Chili's? Yeah, it's like they're, they set up a DJ, and they're, like, dancing in the middle of Chili's. <laughs> And that's the shit. Like that's that small town, and they're having a good ass time. They love it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Damn. It's, it's funnier to see that on a small scale. And it's like, oh, maybe my life's not that bad, you know? <laughs> For real. Like, maybe Amarillo's kind of dope. I fuck with Amarillo. I do, too. It's got, it's gotten, it's grown a lot. Yeah. And it's only going to grow more. Mm-hmm. Thanks to the sod poodles. <laughs> 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 no, but I really, I really hope we get some, like, cool businesses downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my, my girlfriend just got a, she got a job with the, there's a coffee shop that just opened downtown. Is it that, that I'm not, I don't know why I'm plugging them, but S and J Coffee House. This. Is that the one that's like uh it's like across from Broken Spoke, I think? Or that that haunted house, Sixth Street Massacre? Am no, I thinking, no, it's different it's, one? it's more it's downtown by like that barber shop. I think there used to be a potato factory down there. No, oh, okay. it's down the street from two one two, I think. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Nice. So that's one thing. <laughs> I like coffee shops. I heard they. Shit, I think I heard it on your podcast and a couple other people. There's like a arcade or something. Yeah, it's Pope. called it's called Lit. Lit. <laughs> yeah, that's it lit. sounds super corny, but it's actually really cool. <laughs> they, they serve like alcohol a, there yeah, too. It's, it's 21 and up. Arcade. Damn. Yeah, on yeah, Polk Street, it's, uh, bro. It's where the old crush used to be. I'm trying to go there. It's hey, really cool. Go we gotta go on a date, guys. Like all the all the games are like at least like. 80s and older like they're way back there's nothing damn, new or modern in there it's damn. really dope a Dude, bunch of pinball machines do you pay like a entrance fee and no they just card you and then <laughs> just, pay, just play, play with quarters fuck yeah that's not like my favorite yeah game. i want to go there they just Already. uh they just Is that a bar? yeah it has a bar in the middle so it's i tried to take my little brother and then i was like oh never mind it's 21 and up <laughs> damn <laughs> too bad that's western trash. bowl for you <laughs> <laughs> can't afford synergy so western bowl Dude, i still haven't <laughs> been to synergy <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool it's something you don't expect to be in amarillo for sure weird. yeah yeah well, i just haven't been there man honestly that whole section on santi doesn't belong in amarillo have y'all seen that gym Ver- uh, Ver- verder yeah yeah <laughs> shit is crazy i don't go around in parts it's wild it'll blow your mind they, it's got a waterfall in there what the fuck and rock climbing <laughs> Um, pole vaulting. Pole vaulting, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. There's a bar in there. There's a bar outside. It's yeah, and they have yeah. people come perform outside at the pool. Oh, for so, real? Yeah. Damn. Dang, I didn't know about that. We should probably do that. <laughs> Rap poolside. Yeah, like, should. Yo, all these video. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your money. Yeah, let's go. Hit them up. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's exciting. That's cool. <clears throat> Rides, right? So uh, you said you're working on EP right now? Yeah, we're, we're for Bad Grammar, we are. Yeah, it's slowly coming together. We're not really like thinking too hard about mm-hmm. it. It's just kind of Sl- Yeah, slowly. Because yeah. we're all kind of trying to grow individually mm-hmm. and figure ourselves out. And we figured each other out in the album, growing mm-hmm. That first one. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, yeah, the first album, we like learned how to work together. Yeah, it was And now so we're like sick. learning how to just make shit the best we can nice like we i don't know like david he's he's not cutthroat or anything but he's straight up like he'll be like you need to change your melody here your cadence is fucked Mm -hmm. (laughs) even he'll tell fishy like bro that's out of key you gotta fix that like so that's i mean it's and nobody gets mad yeah that's that's necessary yeah be coachable so i think that's just yeah it's making the music progress you can hear it that's what's up yeah 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 but you, yeah, I mean, oh, what's up? Do you have a, a title for it? No, no. Nah, well, we 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 don't title shit yeah. till the end. Like yeah. we title everything the name of the beat. It's just like the name of the beat demo. Like please recycle demo, and mm-hmm. then at That's the end, one. yeah, when we, at the <laughs> end we'll start like half the time we don't even change the name. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. I've always wondered like how much thought goes into like titling mm. songs and everything. It's weird. I mean, for solo shit, I I take some time. Mm-hmm. Try to think of some shit like with Bridge. I like that song Dell, like for twenty two six C or whatever the hell it is. It's the name of a printer I hate. <laughs> like, I was wondering what that was. It was a printer, a printer model at work, bro. I fucking hated this printer. It was always saying it's jammed and it wasn't jammed, and I'd clean it, air dust it, and. Yeah, so but that song's like I don't fuck this printer. Yeah, I don't like my day job, but I do <laughs> like marijuana. Like, yeah. <laughs> dang the depth, bro. Yeah, there was dang. some thought. Sometimes there's some thought, but bad That's grammar for some reason we're just like fuck it. Yeah. Like Rhonda's got gas. That was the beat name. 
<laughs> I heard that one. That's cool. That's cool. But how'd you uh first how'd you come up with your individual names? And then I was gonna ask how you came up with bad grammar, but we'll start with Asabi and Ugly Chulo. Alright. Uh Wasabi sauce. That was my first guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yeah. It works, man. Tell them yeah. what well, you like Saint Lucian? Yeah, I'm half um, black. I'm Lay Ocean and Wait, did you say Lay Ocean? I said Saint Lucian. I don't know. Saint is Lucian. that wrong? Yeah, it's no, it's right. It's just a weird uh, is nobody weird hears it. Yeah. Um, what is Saint Lucian? That sounds badass. It's That's, uh from the island Saint Lucia. That sounds like a superhero. He is, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, the patron Saint got Lucian. Got some island blood and um Asian blood from Lay Ocean as well. And That's what's up. So I just kind of blended the two. I Spicy. think Sabi's okay. It was Wasab. Without this, wasab. Yeah, but yeah. It's like, man. I, everybody called you wasabi and you hated it. Yeah, and I was like, sabi, sabi is cool. Sabi's yeah. dope. That's kind of weird because both of us kind of made our names off of like what we are, who we are. Because my shit, ugly chulo is like I'm a I'm a mixed breed, mm-hmm. and chulo is like um, my fucking I'm a mixed Diaz and my grandma's always coming in. That's exciting. No no pure breeds on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, did you have any um like other names prior? Like you said, Wasabi. Did you have anything before Ugly Chulo? Nah, I'm, there's a demo I made when I was like 18. It's like Seth D, the demo tape. Seth D, uh, nice. my, Seth D, Seth David White is my full government name. Mm. So yeah, Seth Blanco's kind of sick. Uh, Honestly, that's my Facebook name. Oh yeah, just uh, nobody finds me. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was Space. Nice. Your rap name? Yeah. In middle school, <laughs> like the space bar. I was like, it's space before I rap. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me give you some time to breathe. Yeah. It's space. Yeah. <laughs> I need space. Space. Yeah, we're from space to wasabi. Sabi. Damn, the evolution. Now we here. That's fun. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Do you ever, I don't know, consider like editing your name in the future? You ever... Nah. Does that does that come across? Right now, I'm trying to get all like, caps. Like ugly chulo oh, squared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evolved part two. I don't know. Yeah. Stage <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, we're just we're trying to get Sabi's name all caps on the platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're like trying to change that for us right now. But yeah. I'm never nice. want to change my name. I, I see rappers sometimes they'll change the name every couple of years, and yeah. I, I'm just like, Ugh. it works for two chains. That's the only one I can think Titty of. Titty boy, yeah, because <laughs> he didn't blow up till he was like thirty-five or forty. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. He was grown. He was grown. Damn, that's crazy. Which is sick. That shit gives me hope. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Danny Damn. Brown he put out his first project at like thirty. Did he? See, so I, I had no idea how old Danny Brown was. He's like thirty-nine. I now. already had a project on like Dat Piff, and it was like him just rapping in a normal voice. Oh, like some secret? Yeah. Shit. Well, I just found out he has like a Twitch EP. He streamed his EP on Twitch. What? Yeah, it's like you can bump it so on he YouTube. He has like some hidden gems just everywhere. Yeah, that's dope. But that he's about to drop a album produced by Q-Tip. So Shit. I'm fucking hyped that's for cool. that, bro. Yeah. Damn, that's a that's a crazy blend. Hip hop, boom bap, soul, with Danny Damn. Brown. Damn. Hell yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, it's exciting. Danny mm-hmm. Brown. Oh uh, yeah, so like uh what's your do you guys would you consider yourself uh successful now? Like what's your idea of success? How far do you want to go? Um or when will you say like I've I've done what I've wanted to do? Hmm. As far as music. Well or art. The main or both. goal is to it's always the main goal. I just wanna survive off of my art solely. That's and even if it's like, if I made thirty thousand a year off of art alone or recording, mm-hmm. I, that would I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd be happy. Because oh, yeah. like right now, like I got a day job, and that's, you know, it's not fulfilling. Mm. I mean, it it pays the bills, but. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> what 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 about you, man? I'm sorry, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> like, wh- how? What? How far do you want to take? Like, what do you see in uh, in the future? Like, what do you want to do with music? Oh man, dude, I want to honestly like get like, like, 
like Smino's level, bro. <laughs> That's mm. like the perfect. Because mm-hmm. I saw him recently, and he had his own band and stuff, and that'd be so sick yeah. to have. Definitely. Just like even like with bad grammar and stuff, bro. Like a lot, like any, like I don't know, like that type of level of just mm-hmm. like no job and like yeah having like that's that your job cash, yeah like, that is cool off right. your voice and just the amount of music in the world the amount of artists yeah and even like comedians like you can be really big and still most of the world don't know who the fuck you are yeah but like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly because he's like not too mainstream yeah it's like just the right amount like he can live fine you know what i mean like a lot of people here don't even know him so like hmm. he could probably walk and it's like a tootin' total mirror and like yeah but nobody mean, trip other yeah. other places is huge so yeah, yeah that's dope because yeah he's uh, he's just surviving off that music which yeah. is sick man that that's the dream i would love yeah, to yeah. go far as hell though i mean i would love to push it to the globe world tour type shit mm-hmm. that's like that would be sick absolutely and actually like inspire and have a positive message to spread that i just want to do good Mm -hmm. there's so like so much of rap is just a lot of negative shit and like i've I've, i listened to it too but that's just not what i want to push yeah i feel that like negative like i mean i don't want to like promote fucking drug use like crazy heavy drug Mm -hmm. use to me weed's not that nothing to trip on (laughs) i feel that no i'm not trying to like promote pills or yeah just being a shitty person being a douche for I sure. don't even like rapping about money, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I. I just. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I just don't like that shit. I'm never gonna rap about. There's my no chain. passion in it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I feel that, but I agree. But like, I also like. There's future songs that I really like. I know. I and know. I, lo- I love when Lil Wayne's talking about codeine. I Should for. Uh, <laughs> <damn. laughs> no, they'll stop. Just like, <laughs> just act like we can't hear them. <laughs> damn. Uh, anyway, dogs, am I right? You guys got dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I got a husky. A little white husky. She's shy. Yeah, she is. She don't even bark. Unless you fuck with her. I got off track because the dogs were barking. What were we just talking? We were talking about uh, how far you want to go and take it. Oh, what's your... um? Can you say like what your day job is are you allowed to talk about i don't want to um i'm not gonna say where get it you is in trouble because i don't want to say i don't want to say where but office I work, job. yeah i work a desk job never had one in my life and this shit crazy yeah. <laughs> i got insurance and vacation hours yeah which is kind of cool but i'm not trying to die there for sure i work in uh i work in a creative area mm-hmm. but i don't do creative things i do it work oh i see mm-hmm I got, so. I'm in the same situation. I work for a for an agency that sells insurance. Mm. It's a secret one, though. Interesting. <laughs> it's that one. It's Farm State. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, it's not bad. I really like the coworkers, but like, I can't, I can't do that forever. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I'd go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely, man. But yeah, it's cool. I just quit my job, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My man, <laughs> further than the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, closer to the dream, bro. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a cool quitting story? You just walk right. out. Uh, I was on my break, and like I just I was like okay, so like the past week, bro, mm. I was like training all these people, and like I had there's other people that could have trained them, and like I, I normally just do like all the work mm-hmm. around my workplace, and like I have to tell people what to do, the managers don't. So I just got kind of fed up and overwhelmed, and on my break, I just, like, texted the manager. I was like, hey, I quit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then, like, and she was like, like, what? Yo, I'm free to hang anytime now. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, but well, I mean, it's liberating, dude. Like, I yeah. Mean, yeah, it sucks because I'm broke, but at the same time, like, I we planned ahead. We made money in mm-hmm. envelopes and stuff, so we're kind of, like, two months ahead. So yeah, like, that's good. Quit responsibly. Some, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's nothing worse than like doing a job you hate, especially full time, because yeah. that's like most of your life. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah, just that's, sucks. That's, that's, <laughs> it took all my sucks your soul out of you. It took mm-hmm. all my like the days, bro. Like majority of my days, so I'm yeah, trying you, to find something in the morning. Your shift was like two to ten. Yeah, dude. Oh, like, I never see. Hardly you. could ever hang yeah. out with the homies, bro. Oh, yeah. like, so, but yeah, now I'm good. I'm making music and chilling. 
Hell yeah. I wouldn't be here right now. So everyone who's listening, quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> Follow your dreams. Yeah. Are there any other uh, local artists that uh, that you guys are big fans of, or that I should look into? Um. So I know you know Jordy and Nick. Yeah. Those are the homies. Courts. I have to keep saying them. Yeah, I wrote them down. I got them. <clears throat> that dope. Um. Shit. Who else, bro? I've been doing some features a lot lately. Uh, two of them are with locals, mm-hmm. but one one's like a young kid too. I don't, he's kind of unknown. His name's Renzen. It's a trippy <laughs> name. It's like R Y N Z I N. Sounds something. Russian. Like, yeah. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, he's Corbin Carey's cousin. Little cousin. Mm. I don't know he's if you know Corbin Carey. Nah. Oh, okay. Uh, he, yeah, he's funny, but you know, I did a song with him. That was fun. Um, shit. I don't know. Locally? Yeah. I don't really like F with a lot of locals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like on rap, like rappers. Yeah, rappers. Like You heard it here. First, fuck locals. <laughs> I guess like my friend like Justin, he goes like, oh, odd. Oh, yeah. Like, oh I wish he worked with me more. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I feel like he's he gonna hear this. Going down a path that's like very generic and it's not cool, bro. I'll just I'll just edit in a dog bark if we say anything <laughs> inappropriate. Don't worry. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been recording them and like, I don't know, man. It's just I need to tell him what's up. Do you guys have any um any music videos coming out? Mm, god damn i want to <laughs> i I'm, I'm i still have like a plot to do this video to a song from chula's revenge and then i gotta make that shit happen it's just yeah i gotta get together i gotta get money and get mm-hmm. somebody i want to film it or try the diy but i just i want i haven't dropped a video that i fucking made myself with my own vision or with you know Mm-hmm. My idea is directed by me, and yeah. like I want to do that. Hell yeah! Really badly. I want to. I want to do something fun, and I want it to be quality. Like I, I want quality because I've done so many shitty, low brow ass videos, and they're cool. But I'm trying to level up. I want this shit to get seen. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do. Um, damn, I'll just say it's from True Love's Revenge. I'm gonna do something from that. You don't know which song yet. I do, but I can't remember the title right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a weed song, I'm pretty sure. What's my? Oh, it's like the, the second plug? track. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, one, that one, man. I got some ideas for that. Something funny. That'd be sick. Yeah. If you so, need any extras, I do. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. You can just yell out "fuck locals." <laughs> yeah, I'd be like I hate them all. Yeah. No, I don't. Don't support your locals. I, I love, I love every local artist. Hey, you don't have as to a lie, person, bro. As a person, <laughs> but as their art, I don't support. I like that. Not every mm. person. Bold. Yeah, yeah, that is bold, Sabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so do you guys? Do you guys both skateboard? Like, what what hobbies do you do outside of work and and? Uh, music. I wanted to say so bad. Can I? Say, you can say, say whatever you want. Masturbate, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think you're serious, though. I mean, if I'd, I'd be weird if you didn't masturbate. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> gotta get some unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> we got somebody <laughs> too plugged up, you know. Gotta get that release. <laughs> Yo. Damn. Yo, I mean, skating's big. Um, I've kind of slowed down, though, like, now. Mm. I'll go, like, twice a week, if that. <laughs> but I used to go fucking five, six days a week. And, but I've gotten into Pokemon, the card game. Mm. I've really gotten into that like shit. Like, lately? Yeah, like... Are I, they still making those? They are, and they got Whoa. crazy shit now. My little brother, he's... My mom had a kid when I was 17. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of out the door, but I still go see them a lot. And he's like, I found this box of your Pokemon cards. And he had his own shit, and then he gave me some of mine. And it, I just, I was like, I didn't learn the game as a kid. And I was like, yo, mm-hmm. I want to learn this shit. And they have some online app you can download on a desktop and play trainers. And Did play you ever them. play that game where you, like, chase them around town? Pokemon Go? Yeah. <laughs> I, I played the bandwagon. I didn't, I played, like, two months and quit. 
I Same. remember. I remember when that was big. That shit was huge. They were like, people were getting hurt. Yeah, I, was, I see my neighbors that I'd never see, like just walking down the block. Is it, it's, it's when you see the people today still playing, man. Yeah, the that's diehards. Real, real, real. One freaking David, man, Machine Six yeah, still he's, plays he's that on shit. That Hell yeah, dedication. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I never tried it, but I remember. It's I remember nerdy, that trend. I got it. I love it right now, bro. I'm hundreds of dollars deep. I gotta chill, bro. I support it. I gotta chill. I've been wanting to do uh, LARPing. Oh shit! Yeah. Live action yeah, role playing. I, I did. I did mushrooms at the park one time. Damn. And they were all LARPing beside me, and I was like, "This is so oh, cool." You didn't like, join. I, I low key want to do it. No, I didn't join. <laughs> that would have been some shit. That's a good I feel time. like I might get too serious. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fucking hitting me! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. No, but it looks fun. I see people do that at the park by AC a lot. Yeah, that's where I was at. Because uh, <laughs> I just went there to like chill, and I didn't have anything else to do. Um, and then uh, there was a there was a track meet of little kids right next to it, so it was fun. Holy shit! Okay. I was having a good time. That's a trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. It was it's fun. Go to parks, do psychedelics, and go to parks. Hmm. Psychedelics are the best. <laughs> yes. Oh man. What else, guys? What else is going on in today's world? I mean, presidents on some crazy shit. Yeah, I saw you uh, tweet about that video. <laughs> that video he's like, terrifies He's going to be president in the next hundred years. <laughs> like, oh my God. He, yeah, what was he tweeted that with no no he context. Anxiety, no he's words. Just, he's just like the biggest troll ever. And like Time. That's Time Magazine. I was like, God damn. That makes me laugh. They just don't want racism to die. I'd, I'd rather <laughs> laugh about it than, you know. Waste time getting upset about it. So You're right. Like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's just crazy. What can I do? <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be that way. It's just going to stay that way, man. Oh, show. Sure. So we talked about... Uh, do you have any, uh, like, music, like, uh, from early on that you, like, that you made that you can't listen to anymore? Like, it's just like, oh, that sounds terrible. Mm-hmm. You- yeah, I mean... There's some songs on Ugly House where I'm like, God dang. Like, vocally, lyrically, I'm like, oh. <laughs> It'll be like a, a word and a flow that didn't go with the rhyme mm-hmm. scheme. I'm like, that's <laughs> Why did you let that pass? <laughs> well, you can, funny. There'll be parts where the auto-tune is like, just sounds bad, and that's because like I sang it that bad. The auto-tune couldn't even fix it. Mm. That shit. I don't let it slide no more though. But yeah. that's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good to see progress. Yeah, because it's crazy. Because when I was making that, I was like, this sounds dope. Yeah, right? like right. you know, the time passes. You're like, holy Whoa. shit, bro. <laughs> you weren't even using your voice fully. Like, yeah. yeah, I get that. I had a like a stand up clip. Like my very my one that got big. Not big. It got like a hundred views. Mm. But like it was from like over a year ago, and I went back to try to rewatch it. I couldn't watch it. I was like, this, like, this is it's so cringy. Uh, but I, at the time, I was like, this is cool. This is the best, <laughs> this is the best I can do. Yeah. Yeah, it's super awful. I just... <laughs> oh, dude. I was seeing some clips of me performing. I was just like, ah, that was cringy. Why'd you say that? <laughs> but that shit, yeah. It's just part of learning. Yeah. Performing I mean, it's is different, man. For Being sure. on stages and shit. And it's oh, it's a different it. world. Yeah, you, I mean, you look like you're having the time of your life up there, so <laughs> it's all that matters, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. Do you ever, uh, do you get nervous performing? I used to get really bad, man. Um, we would, like, me and Machine Six before a show, we, like, sat in my car and, like, pulled the seats back and put, he found some, like, transcending, like, astral projecting music. Some guy, like, talking peacefully to us. <laughs> breathe like mm-hmm. I, I i really got bad anxiety i used to i've gotten just so after doing it so much so mm-hmm. many shows it's kind of it doesn't get as bad bad magic i was nervous as fuck because i couldn't cuss and that was new mm-hmm. and it was just totally different crowd even though it wasn't like packed it just made me nervous as shit performing outdoors i, was, I yeah. got i gotta my head will start running man i feel that and then uh it moved to golden light after that yeah, and I was just thinking, man, he would have killed it. And, I, that would have been so much light. better, man. Would have been, been crazy. Yes, that would have been fun. That would have been fun. But it's all good. That was a good time, regardless. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Shit, we got on the news. Yeah, I saw you guys getting interviewed. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> and then we we went to go eat. 
and came back and fuck the stage is gone. Yeah, it was over. <laughs> oh man, just in time. <laughs> yeah, we beat the rain. Oh yeah. See, I just asked. I forgot the question I asked. Oh yeah, performing. So, do you perform like as much as him? Like, I mean, I've only seen you perform. I guess at Bad Magic, but I mean, you guys usually perform together. Yeah, I mean, last year we performed a lot of the shows together. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we don't get booked together, I'm gonna bring him in my set, mm-hmm. or yeah, vice yeah. versa. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he so. brought me here. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's my yeah. homie, man. Do you ever uh, like get on stage and like forget your shit? Is that is that I ever happens? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sabi, man, he 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 likes to perform with no backing vocals, so that's, that's happened. A, he hasn't done it in a while, like slip up in a while. But mm. we used to fuck up. I played a Gunnar Wadowski, he's a local like videographer, camera photography man. Like he mm. he's doing Interland, but uh, yeah. he we had a show at his house, a Halloween nice. show. God, man, they had so much booze. Like, mm-hmm. by the time we performed, we were fucked. <laughs> me and him were terrible. David don't really be drinking or smoking or anything. And yeah, we were forgetting all kinds of shit. But the crowd cool. didn't care. I think they were yeah. messed up, too. Yeah, they were just like, yeah. <laughs> it was just wild. <laughs> I was on the Panhandle Primate podcast, Dexter. Oh, nice. You, I think you, you, I've met him yeah, recently. Okay. At Bad Magic that day at Golden Line, I had a yeah, He mentioned uh, Gunnar Wadowski would have house shows all the time. Sounds like a great time. Are you guys going to go to Interland? I want to sure. check it out. Yeah, we'll see. I don't, I don't even know. I've never been over there. I have no idea what to expect. You've never been to Mariposa? <laughs> no. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. I got to Google, Google it. It's a little north, yeah. yeah. I don't know if we'll be there. Um, yeah. I well, I know we're not performing, but we, we mm-hmm. might swing yeah. by. Who knows what will happen. Seems like a fun time. Yeah. I I don't know about staying the night for me personally, but yeah, I'll probably just go home. Yeah, it's probably back. bears, <laughs> some <laughs> bobcats, North of Amarillo bears. They come out, they come out at night. We need the poo. Stray cats. Yeah, there are bobcats around here. That mm-hmm. shit's crazy. Yeah, yeah, dude. But I'm gonna definitely go to Lovestock. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah, I'm excited for Lovestock. It's Love gonna Stock. be fun. I I like uh, it's gonna be tight to go as like a a spectator. Mm-hmm. You know. Cause like nerves, I always have anxiety. If we play at late at night all day, I'm thinking about it. So now yeah, I can just I get that. now just I can just get trashed and enjoy everything. So Hell yeah, get arrested. And have a good <laughs> time. Hopefully not. I'm kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking forward to to watching at Lovestock? Shit, I want to see y'all. Um, I see, I think it's gonna be weird though, cause it's gonna be like one comic every hour. Oh, is it yeah. one comic in between each set? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's going to be weird, but damn. I think Jordy's playing the second day, man. I want to catch him. Hell yeah. Cuz I fucking missed that show at the 806. But yeah, I want to catch him. There's some bands. Smooth Taste and Lake Dead's aren't going to be here for that, are they? No. They won't be. Damn. There's a band called Sidle. I don't know if you guys are into like metal. I've heard of them. They but wear some like, of them wear masks. Yeah, yeah. I, I like them a lot. I would love to check them. They out. They kind of remind me of Corn. I've heard th- I've heard oh. their name so much. Like I want to see them. They go hard. Okay. I'm trying trying to to I mean, I don't know who else I saw. I think Day Two. Like I mean, Day Two has Chords, Tory Nix, Jordy. Like I want to see that them out. for sure. I need to look up the lineup just to like. Yeah, like now that I'm thinking about, it, I'm drawing blanks because it's a lot. So there's like names. there's like four venues. Yeah. It's that whole block, man. I catch what I can. What is, is it? The Leo? The Leo? Mm-hmm. I call him the Leo, but I know it's the Leo. Leo. But I've been calling him the Leo this whole time, Word. too. Until uh, Bad Magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Luke, man. I'd be cool to catch them. Is he the lead singer? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I've met him like four times. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Names are tricky. They are. <laughs> but yeah, those stocks should be fun. Yeah, definitely. Think of what else, man. So, having a good time Sunday. Uh, I've had a day <laughs> <laughs> running from the police, <laughs> hiding, <laughs> <laughs> hiding on the ground. That's fun, bro. So, did did they call the cops on you? They they did, and I guess I don't know, man. It's they definitely did call them. I don't know why. Mm. Uh, the thing is, I'm I. 
I should have put the claim info and number insurance mm-hmm. on the windshield. Yeah. I put it on the mailbox, and it's Sunday, so they definitely ain't checking that shit. So, yeah, they call the cops and whatever. But oh, they okay. they left. I the, the way it sounded, I, I went to talk to the neighbors myself. They was like, yeah, we called the cops, and they were, like, asking me what I thought. And I was like, I don't know. Isn't that y'all's job? And <laughs> so I don't think they really cared. <laughs> they just had to act. But my girl said there was threes, which is annoying. Like, I hate yeah. when they got to bring multiple. They don't got nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. That's funny. So do you guys have a, like, really, like, nice, like, recording area? Do you have, like, a special room you record music in? Shit. Just not a, until recently. Um, I've, I've fucking just moved, like, three weeks ago, and I was recording by my bed, like, in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. And that shit worked for a year or so, but it started just, it was hard, man. So, just the house itself, like the vibe started getting sus. And I had a roommate, and it was just hard to find time to record where I didn't feel like I was bothering people. And I hate dealing with shit like that. I just want to mm-hmm. be loud and mm-hmm. not worry about what anybody's thinking. Yeah. And so this new house is mo- multiple bedroom house, and I have a whole room for it. That's dope. That shit. Like, we have Fishy brought all his shit, and he has his production area, and I have mm-hmm. my recording area. And it's it's super sick. Shit is, like, a blessing. It's That's definitely cool. made me happy, because, like, the future's about to get crazy. Oh, yeah. And this dude has his own setup, too. Yeah, right? it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vibe. How often do you, uh, do you guys write? Does it just come to you randomly? Like, do you ever just wake up out of your sleep, like, oh, shit, that... Shit, that goes hard. I write that down. <laughs> Sometimes, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'll get bars randomly. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't get a verse randomly, but I have to sit my ass down and write and get in the zone and, like, write shit that's terrible and then erase it. Mm-hmm. I get probably, it's like I got to warm up or something. Like, my mind. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Up. Yeah. And it it's almost like, you know, just the whole layup shit before a basketball game. It's like. You're just, like, thinking of bullshit, erase it, and then get in. Mm. But I always get random bars that come to my head, and they're always fire. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and I'll type that shit in my notes and save it, and put it in a verse. I used to do that uh, when I was, like, really young. When I thought I wanted to be a rapper, I was, like, 16. Oh, shit. I never tried, though. Damn, I was, like, you never recorded anything? Be, no, I never recorded anything. <laughs> Damn, you got the mics. Yeah, now I can. Now I, now I can be a rapper. <laughs> You do some comedy rap, man. <laughs> you heard of Zach Fox? No, I was gonna. I was about to say Lil Dicky. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> <laughs> Is Zach Fox a comedy rapper? He he's not even like a rapper like that. Shit, I keep hitting that. It's all good. But um, he's he's like a comedian artist, and I don't know. Have you heard of Awful Records? They're no. in Atlanta collective, and Playboy Cardi will used to fuck with them, oh, okay. be in their group, and then he took off to ASAP. But yeah, he. He and Zach Fox is like if you just find his Twitter, this motherfucker's hilarious. He's always pissing people off. He's doing and, a meme. Yeah, That's crazy. but anyways, he he dropped this song recently, and it's called like "Jesus Is the One," and in parentheses, I got depression. And oh yeah, that's sh- off of Kenny. Be- yeah, like Kenny, Kenny Beats, Beats produced it, which like produces for Rico Nasty and hella people. But I really like the title so far. Yeah, it's it, this song is hilarious, and apparently he freestyled his shit, but he's just like. <laughs> He's like, bitch, if you ain't a Christian, I'ma stab you in the face. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the end of the song is like, I dip my dick in a bag of Doritos and make this homie's bitch suck the dust off the tip. <laughs> and then it ends. You gotta check that shit out. I will. It is great. It'll make you laugh. And then Jesus is the one I have depression. Jesus is the one. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Bitch, you better praise God or I'm going to shoot you back on God. <laughs> I ain't playing by my Lord and Savior. <laughs> like, that shit is hilarious. That is funny already. Like once a day, bump that. Fuck your, fucking fix your mood up. Do you guys, um? do you freestyle often? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. With That's the cool. homies, like, I have like a Nate when people like, you at a party and it's like, you want to freestyle? And it's like, nah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't got nothing to prove to you. I don't care. Like, yeah, that's swag. I freestyle with the homies, though, all the time. That's cool. Do you want to freestyle? I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 yo, yo. So this is, I'm guessing that happens, like, 
every party you go to? Almost, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> bro. Funny. Almost, dude. Or even shows. Like, you'll perform and it's like, you want to do a cypher at the end of everything? No. <laughs> we just perform, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I'm, like, dripping sweat. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it takes a lot of energy. It Performing does. Rapping, yeah. man. If you, Especially if you got so much words to mm-hmm. say. Because you're projecting it. And you're like, and you, you just run out of breath. Yeah. It's like, oh. And you still gotta like look like you're Welcome energized. Back. <laughs> yeah, that's our squad. They went to the side niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Hell man. That's funny. Shit. That's a good one. But we the main one, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah as long as you're not coming home one. with me. <laughs> I don't care what she does all day, but she sleeps in my bed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. You don't fuck with nobody else but me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sharon, bro. This ain't for Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> We're all no. No. Oh damn. Dang. Did y'all ever y'all ever thought about featuring them in a song? Yes. Yeah. I think Sabi has featured his girl <laughs> <laughs> via ad lib or something. Yeah, I told him, I told him <laughs> to moan on the mic. Oh, snap. That's some shit. Was the, was the mic your penis? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, she wild. Oh, man. She wild. <laughs> That's her. crazy. <laughs> they don't know who you are. <laughs> they know who she is. <laughs> I was just trying to make a build up. Everybody knows y'all are Kwasabe. <laughs> Did you ever see those annoying orange videos on YouTube? Yes. Yeah, was, I, I just remember my boss showed me that a long time ago, and it was like there was wasabi on there, and he would just go, wasabi. <laughs> I'm going to think about that every time I see you now. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. That's exciting. I think we covered quite a bit. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm usually don't like, my brain doesn't usually stop like this. You know, I usually can think of other stuff. Feeling slow today. Hey, you know? it's a Sunday. I know, yeah. huh? Lazy day. Sunday. Getting oh. in wrecks and shit. Getting in wrecks. <laughs> yeah. Easy last Sunday morning. Yeah. Gotta watch out <laughs> for the drivers on Sunday. Watch out for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, got any plans for the rest of the day? He uh, does. I. Um, nah. <laughs> nah. No, I'm, I'm probably going to eat something good. Play oh, my yeah. girl in Pokemon. <laughs> well, I have a verse I need to record, actually. I need to get that shit done. Oh, I just yeah. remembered. How do you win in Pokemon? Uh, there's multiple ways. It's uh, There's the prize cards. You win. There's six prize cards. And each time you knock out a Pokemon, you take a prize card. So you can take all six prize cards and win. Boy, or if a motherfucker... There's a bench and there's an active Pokemon... If you have an active Pokemon, you knock them out, and there's nobody on your bench, win. And then you have your deck. Your deck is like the cards you draw, and there's cards that let you draw more cards. And so Mm -hmm. if you don't have any cards to draw, because every turn you have to draw a card, if you don't have any cards, you lose. That's the third way. Interesting. Yeah. That's that's way more complex than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's. I thought it, it sounds be like, like it, but it's not. It's like simple and com- like I thought. This, me I or? mean, this shit ain't Magic: The Gathering. I know that. That shit hard. See, I've seen that too. I've never played any of them, but like, I see people playing that shit. Pokemon's like basic math. Hmm. Basic math and a little strategy and some luck. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. But I love the art, man. I'm drawn to that shit. So you can't just like flip a card and be like, I got a. This giant rock monster, he's gonna crush your leaf nah. lady. Yeah. <laughs> it's you have to attach energy to do that mm. attack, which is yeah, it's nerdy shit, man. I'm totally falling in love. It's really cool, bro. Like, <laughs> he's cool. put me onto it, but I'm too broke for that. <laughs> Dude, I'll put you on, bro. I used to play other kids' Game Boys with the Pokemon, the Pokemon on there. Mode. That was fun. Hey, was a good time. Game Boy Color. I used to have one. Classic. <clears throat> <laughs> Man, so you you said you're gonna record a verse tonight? I need to. I'm gonna make nice. myself get that done. Do you already have it ready? Yeah, it's written. Nice. And it's for a feature with a local young blessed who needs to hey. drop music again. Yes. It's been a while. That dude's talented. I just want to do the shout out. Yeah, for real. He's a, he's hidden though. He he's been hidden. Yeah. He's. Uh, I feel like he's been shelving a lot of stuff. 
Hmm. Yeah. Like, that's a dude album. Uh, that's like a, a tough spot to be in the shelf things and not ever release it. Mm-hmm. Do you do you have a lot of music that's has unreleased? Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, we do. But Sabi also has a like a what would you call it? Some type of like under I don't know, like a almost like a Finsta for SoundCloud. <laughs> but it's not private. Yeah, but he just—I don't like, even know what that means. Oh, he never heard of these motherfuckers with the the private Instagram and then it's got like their deep public web Instagram. They call it offensive because it's like a fake Insta. Oh, okay. okay. They upload like coke Insta. on it, like like cocaine. Boobs. <laughs> they just upload whatever they <laughs> just want. whatever they whatever want. they won't yeah. post publicly, you know. Or like they're their pressure. Okay, okay. Or, so yeah. like this dude has a SoundCloud where it's just kind of unknown, but he posts songs on there that. He doesn't release on platforms and shit. Nice. Every once in a while, I've posted once on it, yeah. I think. I need to put more shit on there. Yeah. But, yeah, that's fun. Does it get pretty good numbers? No. I mean, like, there's some songs. There is one song I made a while back, but I privated it. Mm-hmm. And it was a song for Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's called No Things to Give. <laughs> it's a good concept. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No thanks to give. I like that. So it's just like a, a way to just collect, I guess, music. You don't want to put anywhere else? Yeah, I mean, because I don't want to like... I mean, there's stuff that I haven't released, but I'd rather just release all that stuff. Mm. That way, like... I don't get caught in out. A, a loop. Yeah. I did get kind of got... Kind of got caught in a loop mm. with the whole clickbait thing. Mm. The, that EP that I'm about to drop, because... I was going to drop it next year, but I was like, no, nah, let's just drop it this year. Cause next year? You're going to wait a whole year? No. no. What about the fans? Because they would have yeah, aged, for real. dude. Yeah, they would have aged, and they already ate, like, half of the tracks are from, like, a year ago. So, oh, like, that's a thing, too. Do you ever have, like, pop culture references? Uh, and then it's like, oh, I can't release it now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had one. I did this, like, summer-ass song. You remember when guys were wearing rompers? I had yeah. some line about that shit. And then that song, I never put it out because it was just like, I was like yeah. talking shit about guys and rompers or you something. You know what's crazy though? Like, <laughs> I literally got a call like two days ago from like this dude that I went to high school with. And he's like, bro, like I listened to that romper part and I literally just ash on somebody's rompers, bro. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I had to call you. And, I, and then he like, <laughs> Oh, shit. That's, that's like, hilarious. What are the odds? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I was shook. I was. I meant to tell you about that. Damn, that but is I told crazy. You now, so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Told him during the podcast. It's the most important time. <laughs> you heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys need to squash any beef, just, we can do it like a therapy session. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I didn't like when you talked shit on me when we were nineteen. You said I had weird shoes. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever y'all want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, the guy um, that stole my money. Like, it's all good. Like, hey, it's all good, man. <laughs> I want my t-shirt back. No, um, Give me my money. Yeah. He I'd borrowed my DVD season three of Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Uh, Are there, who's the uh, one artist like that you'd want to collab with out of everyone? Like if what, that one person, who's, who's one person you'd love to work with like in the world? If you had to pick one or maybe, maybe three, if that's easier. I don't know. There's like another one. <laughs> <laughs> name him, name Right him. now is uh, Andre. 3000? Really cool. Yeah. That'd be yeah. sick. That guy would just be fun to talk to. Yeah. Um, that's it right now. <laughs> um, Damn. I don't know. I'm trying to think of who like, really I would want to get in the studio <laughs> with and feel comfortable with. There's like people I would dream like Frank Ocean. Oh wow. Or even Kid Cudi. I feel like I could vibe with Kid Cudi though. Maybe that's just right. He seems like he'd be really cool. Yeah, he does. He does. But musically though, I don't I don't wanna man, shit. Mac Miller would be awesome if he was still here. Mm-hmm. That was I feel yeah. like that fool. He's he's a musician. Mm-hmm. Like he can play shit and he smokes cigarettes. I I'm yeah. fucking be smoking cigarettes in the studio with him. Like I would love yeah. to fucking. I'd collab with Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> Send me your verse. <laughs> <laughs> Recorded over the phone. 
He should, he should do that. I, I never liked his music. I just really, I really liked his Instagram. He was so much fun to watch. That's, yeah, his music sucked, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was, was entertaining terrible. on social media. Yeah. I don't know. I think he might have gotten shot if he didn't get arrested, so. Yeah. No, I, I agree. That was pretty. He was He was being really stupid. <laughs> going to Chicago like that. Yeah, that dude's crazy. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Because he's, like, snitching on everyone, so, like, he's going to get a big reduced sentence. I don't know. It's going to be cool or interesting. It won't be cool. But yeah, it'll be something. See what happens to that guy. I don't know. It's crazy he blew up like that, though, because, like, every song was a hit. And it's like, who the fuck is listening to this guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's good at trolling, but, man. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I listen to uh, Bad Baby. <laughs> Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I think I've heard of them. <laughs> no, it's uh it's the girl, the Catch Me Outside girl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is that her name? Gucci Flip Flaps. I've heard one of her songs. Yeah, Bad Bobby or Bobby something. Bobby Baby. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Baby. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she, yeah. That's not bad. She kind of got a voice. Hey. She lit. She's like she's, the, she's better than I expected her to be. Yeah, for yeah sure. that's like she's like the least worst out of like those trolling people that make mm. music, you know. <laughs> for sure I've seen her work uh, with Lil Yachty and shit. she's worked with a lot of people she's connected to a lot of rappers in the new age yeah that's cool it's crazy how people how quickly they can blow up just yeah, off, of, man. off the interview with Dr. Phil that's some <laughs> shit dude yeah she got her whole career now hell yeah damn is this a restroom yeah it is a restroom I'm gonna hit that go ahead <laughs> go ahead my bladder about to pop dude, dude. Ah. Sabe. so how long you been making music now dang bro so um, you're not 29 right you're younger than... i'm 21 21 oh okay quite yeah. a bit younger yeah yeah i mean like my whole life <laughs> that's what's up since middle school yeah yeah has your uh genre changed has it always kind of been the i don't know um i i definitely like want to learn like bass mm. and like, put like live instruments nice do you play any instruments now no i just i mean i i just know how to make beats that's yeah. cool that's a skill i don't know how to do that yeah i tried garage bands for five minutes one time and then i gave Oof. up yeah garage bands logic i don't even use for beat making i just use it for recording use ableton for the so you're producing all your own music on the next thing you're dropping you said yeah, um, it's seven tracks. It's only fourteen minutes. It's it's called clickbait. Dope. And, like, it's you it's have a release date yet? Ready. Yeah, um, July seventh. Oh yeah, you said that earlier. Yeah. My bad. No, you're good, dude. July seventh. Oh yeah. So how long does it take you to like uh to make a beat that you like really enjoy? It varies, dude. Like it could be an all night thing, all nighter, mm-hmm. to where it could be like twenty minutes. It's mm-hmm. like. Some of the beats on the project like took maybe two hours to two minutes. Nice. So it just varies on the fill and the bounce yeah. and like. How do you know when it's like a a beat's done? Because you can always tweak it, right? Like you can always change something. Yeah, like see, my problem was like I had I had used to overthink mm-hmm. about creating and like now like. It'd be hard not to. Yeah, when I the best shit that I made was like not thinking. Mm-hmm. So like I try not to think at all, and whenever I think it's done, it's done. So. Like, mm. That's fair. I get that. Yeah. Have you ever like dropped music and been like, "Oh shit, I did I did this thing wrong. Or I forgot to add this in," but then it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like maybe like one or two things on like the bad grammar stuff, mm-hmm. but like that's it. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't really like go back. I kind of just like record it <laughs> and then like because I can't. Re- when we went to the studio to re-record things, mm-hmm. dude, I couldn't do it. Like because I just like I I can't. I have to be by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like listening to your own music? Like yeah. not like an egotistical way, I mean, but like. Um, I yeah, I I I mean, I've been listening to this project, and it's, I mean, now I'm kind of like getting annoyed of it because <laughs> I've been listening. But I'm trying to like study it mm-hmm. and see what I could do better. And I just know like a lot of people hate hearing their own voice, <laughs> so I was just curious with that. And that's one thing I I don't mind because like I get, sometimes I get shook and I'm like, whoa. I don't sound like me. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. 
man. So, uh, I don't know. Do you guys like, uh, like do any type of voice enhancing in the studio? Does that, or is it just like, you just go in and record it? Like, is I there ways that like, you, cause you can like do like pitching yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah. I'm, lately I've been trying to work with like different types of ways of, cause like, I mean, like, artists like this Saba and Smino, mm -hmm. they do these different voices on tracks. It's, like, different personas. Yeah, their voices go really high. Yeah, and it's, like, the same artist. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's so much that you can go with that. And, like, I don't know. That's so cool. Like, one of the Bad Grammar demos, I did that. And it sounded cool, I thought. Yeah. But we try to, like, use our voice different ways on different songs. You know, I mean, in the booth, like, before I record, I gotta, like, I don't know, I gotta make, I gotta feel like my throat's clear, mm -hmm. a phlegm, spit, and that it's, like, got enough water, it's hydrated, yeah, because, I, man, I, when, when, during recording, I hate my voice so much, and then I have to, like, warm up and find my pocket, and mm -hmm. then it's, I don't know what it is, but I just get into a zone or a mood where, like, my throat and my vocal cords are hitting the notes and that's i can interesting. make the melody sound even better because man my my throat like i was i've recorded alone a lot too because i'm just it sounds terrible a lot because mm. i gotta like <laughs> it's like i gotta make a mess and work it out yeah. and refine it like definitely i'm not just gonna step in in one take yeah. never ever yeah maybe have like one song <laughs> I, I did like two takes and Mm -hmm. but that's how i've made a lot of songs so that's rare is there a is there like a time of day that's better to record or like better to uh just be more in a creative space nighttime nighttime yeah i like early morning or late at night mm -hmm. early morning's making, cool like, but make i could do anytime yeah anytime. it's the voice thing i like at night yeah I feel it's that. like you're you're warmed up mm -hmm. you know no like I've, I've tried to do podcasts at like 11 a.m and I'm just like, uh, 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 like my voice is all scratchy. Like it's, uh, I can't do, I can't do morning podcasts. Or maybe I can. I just got to get up earlier. <laughs> you don't don't me for so do. Do you there do you voice go. exercises? No, but I, I want to, man. I'm, I'm about to start like YouTube and vocal lessons, man. I, I wasn't trained in shit, mm -hmm. and like I don't, I don't want to just rap. I want to sing i've been singing shit but mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just doing whatever i sounds good to me right now that's what's up yeah i want to get a lesson luke hater man he said he'll give me a lesson yeah from, he used to pay for lessons uh, for like some artists facetime i need all to get that that's cool i need to get yeah. that i just know like breathing mm. like ways to expand your lungs and stuff mm -hmm. that way i can get all the words out but yeah that's it so yeah, breathing is so important. Performance, too. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you, you Have you ran out of breath on stage? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially, I mean, solo. Should get hard sometimes. Yeah, it's got to be a bitch. With bad grammar, bro, it was... I could keep my energy high, mm -hmm. but with solo, I, I got to plan it out and have some songs that slow it down and give me the time to, like, recover from oh, like a yeah. lit song or something i never thought about the strategy of that yeah that's that was, cool that's something i learned nice. what's like the longest uh performance you've had or set you've had i think mine might be well love stock last year and bad magic this year i think we played 30 minutes but bad magic was solo so that mainly solo when mm -hmm. sabi gave me some help at the end but yeah, that's that just that felt time. a lot. That felt a lot longer when mm. you're up there alone, man. I bet. And then I couldn't it's a hear big stage myself. Too. Yeah, it was different. And I'm up there alone, <laughs> no band behind me. Like it was, it was different. <laughs> I tried my best. It was yeah. fun. It was a good time. Hell yeah! I'm glad y'all were there, man. Yes. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Have you been to Bad Magic before? That's my first one. I think I went. <laughs> Two years ago, that was my first one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even know it was a thing. Like I heard of it, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, and that's. I feel like a lot of people don't. I think yeah. they need to get a, some billboards or something. Man, for sure, that shit, which should be huge. But I think also the weather played a factor. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Because it was like cloudy the whole day. Families didn't want to like go to the bar. You know, Golden Light was. 
packed. It, it was up. packed. I it was like, I feel that like was the their biggest crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what they said. But I don't know. Yeah, they definitely made a lot of money that day. Hell yeah. Good for them. Hell yeah. yeah. That's a good bar. I like that place. Yeah, Golden Light's cool. Have y'all got to perform there? No, not yet, actually. That's one of the few places we haven't. Um, you should definitely hit him up. Wade, Wade asked me, but it was before Bat Magic, and I don't know. I just wasn't feeling right about that one, but I told mm-hmm. him I would be open in the future to try to do something. Because I know that Golden Light's not the hip-hop spot. Yeah. What What is, is there, like, a, a hip-hop spot? Hmm. <laughs> Um, there used to be one like out by Eastridge. Oh, like you little... talking about? Uh, they had all kinds of shit there. Yeah, though. but they did have a lot of rap and like hardcore music. Mm. What was it called? Bomb Is Shelter. Bomb Shelter. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, th- I think I've heard of that. Yeah, it's not open a anymore. Spot back then, no, but now it's like dead. So no, I never saw it, but it sounded cool. Yeah, it was a cool name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that spot we used to get it. Um, I don't know what is. The spot now yeah, for hip hop, really like a spot spot. I know Kickback used to have a lot of rap shows, and they mm-hmm. wouldn't have any other type of shows. But I've never performed there. I know uh, Tease Bar is open to letting people perform there. Uh, they had a they had a hip hop open mic, I think like twice. Oh yeah, and that was cool. I went there to watch. Oh, yeah. Dude, Tease Tease has a lot of shows. They do, which is cool. <laughs> They're letting us do an open mic, so hey. and they yeah. do burlesque. They do everything there, so. Yeah. Yeah, if y'all are looking, I don't know if y'all are interested in more burlesque. performing, but yeah, if you guys are interested <laughs> in burlesque, <laughs> hop on. <laughs> Shit. No, we, I definitely want to get some shows going later this year. Yeah. But I think we're all just kind of like working on music. And mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, get this music, new music out. I feel that. Yeah, that t- new bad grammar shit. That takes a lot of time. Mm hmm. Yeah. I assume I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. It does. The way we treat it, we take our time with it. Can't take the fast route. <laughs> Gotta make it good. Yeah, quality, quality over quantity. Yeah. That's the route we chose. That's a good route, man. That's cool. Cause you had the uh, Chula's Revenge. It's a really good, great quality album. Thank you. But yeah, hard. seven seven songs. Bro, I just realized the Apple sticker on your. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> it's not Adele anymore. It's, <laughs> That's funny, it's actually bro. trans, so it relate. It, it, it believes it's Apple. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Pride Month. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Pride was, was today. Did you go? No, I didn't go. I was on the road. I was in uh, Santa Fe. Oh, which, by the way, is a really dope little place. Yeah, I've been there once. It's cool. Did it's you go to Meow Wolf? No, I gotta go back. I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to see Corn and Alice in Chains. What? In like August. Hell yeah. And I'm gonna go to Mount Wolf after that. Okay. So. Yeah, they got shares there too. That'd be a cool place to perform, bro. Because that stage is like so lit. That shit looks wild. I think I've seen some videos of yeah. performances there. Santa Fe's cool because it's like 50,000 people, but like most of them are like retired. So mm. it's like the average age is like 55. <laughs> and it's just a bunch it's of A lot old, of chill old people. Yeah, a, lot, a bunch of old active people having a good time. Yeah, and I didn't know this until like yesterday, but we just com- completely decriminalized in uh, New Mexico. What? What? Yeah, it's like paying, if you get caught with it, it's a parking ticket. It's crazy. I didn't know that. Damn. And Did they you... have they have medical too, but uh, I don't have a fancy you can't card. Just run up yeah. in there. <laughs> Shit. So you'd have to, you you still have to get it like in a sketchy way. Yeah, it's still got like my back hurts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they probably make you be like a resident or something. Yeah. So I'm touring yeah. through New Mexico, my back hurts. <laughs> I need some weed. <laughs> Give me a pound. No, I think I think it'll be, I mean, the way they're talking about it, I think it'll be decriminalized nationwide by 2021. That's my guess. It's a good, uh... Maybe 2022. Maybe never. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Texas I'm, will be last. Watch, the United States will like legalize it, and Texas will still be like, nope. Yeah, they're getting, they'll secede. <laughs> <laughs> the final straw. <laughs> oh man, that's exciting. Are there any other uh, like places like you'd love to tour? You know, like uh, cities. Ooh, I mean, we we played a show in Philadelphia last summer. Oh hell yeah. 
Yeah, that was super cool. It would be cool to hit the East Coast. It'd be cool to hit the West Coast. Did you have to drive all the way to Philly? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we drove my that was Honda. A drive. I bet it was twenty-four hour drive. My car fucked up. Turned into a thirty-two hour drive. What and was, what was wrong with the car? A spark plug burnout in Indiana. <laughs> And we just went through hell that day, but some guy, man, some Hispanic fucking hooked it up. Hell yeah. For free. He didn't even charge us. Like, we we were stranded for hours. and Yeah, it was scary, man. We went to multiple places trying to get help, and nobody was at really... at the time, we didn't even know what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, like... And he had some, like, iPad car reader shit. Really? Just on him? Yeah. Well, it's crazy, man. We pulled... I wake up. I drove 13 hours straight. I took let Sabi take the shift. David's ass didn't have a license, mm. so he wasn't driving. So it was just me and him. And I drove 13 hours straight, and I wake up at like six in the morning, six seven in the morning. He's like, "Yo, the engine light came on." And I was like, "Let's pull off." We go to Advanced Auto Parts. Somehow there was one. The mm. street we took, we got lucky. <laughs> so Advanced Auto Parts, they weren't fucking with us at all. Wouldn't help. We drove up the street to AutoZone. This guy was like helping us. He'd give us tools to use, and then. We're like, man, we can't get this. He's like, dude, I know this guy. And, like, shit. It was some, like, generic Hispanic name, man. It was, like, Juan or Pablo. Like, he's like, like I know Pablo up the street. And, like, he called him. He's like, can you get, can you look at these kids, man? They're from Texas. Like, they're they're (laughs) stuck. And he's like, yeah. And we show up. And he he fixed it, man. That's what's up. He fixed it. And he didn't take any money. Yeah, God bless him, bro. And it's crazy because he he left his iPad in our mm-hmm. in our car. Oh wow! When we were leaving, I was like, "Yo, you left this, man." He was like, "Oh my god, that's a thousand dollars." I ain't stealing it's from you, bro. Went, You're an bro. angel. <laughs> Good karma went. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. How was the uh, how was the show in Philly? Did y'all like? Did you have a a connect up there? Well, we we were connected to this artist Blake Bowles, and he he didn't even live in Philly, man. He's just a eccentric dude he's a wild card man he's a badass illustrator and like i don't know he just he i don't know how the hell he even connected but he he was like yo i know this person this person he didn't even live there Mm. and they he called it was like a coffee shop and a lot of we had a bunch of artists signed up we had some acts one of the major acts that was going to be there it was like local to that area he they backed out but because that was supposed to be like our crowd drawer right there but yeah so it, w- it was a small crowd but man we met a lot of cool artists and cool people yeah, it, was oh, yeah. tight, it was fun did y'all get to like hang out in philly for a little bit yeah we were there for a week oh hell yeah and uh That's we fun. we met with my homie connor barkhouse who produced all the ugly house and he's still our homie he mastered bad grammar uh the last album 24 7 and we stayed with him for a week we went to new york city for one day took a oh, bus yeah. and that shit was sick man I, i've been to chicago but like new york was something else yeah, yeah. oh east coast i've never been to the east coast like we drove through so many tunnels man and mountains Bruh. that shit was wild some of them were like <laughs> never ending like yeah it was crazy it was just it was fucking it was a journey man yeah. It hell was, yeah <laughs> is that the furthest you've traveled yeah the perform? east coast for sure oh yeah but we want i want to go to cali i'm trying to visit yeah, it looks Maybe like a great time. Possibly move there. I, oh, I want to. Yeah. I want to move out. Yeah, that was that was a question I was gonna ask, but I forgot to. So, mm. <laughs> y'all y'all plan on leaving the uh, little Panhandle at some point? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I've never. I've lived all around the Panhandle, but I haven't left and yeah. lived somewhere else. And I want to. I want to. I want to see new. But I. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm hoping like. To be able to come back. Yeah. And help. For sure. Helping ways I want. I feel the same way. Like, I want to leave by next year um, Mm. to Dallas just to pursue comedy on a bigger scale. Yeah. But then I I also don't want to, like, leave a hole here. So Yeah, I'm not ever trying to forget. Yeah, definitely not. Because it's, I don't know, it's probably the same with music, but, like, comedy was, like, almost nothing, like, two and a half years ago. Yeah. And now it's, like, something that people are aware of, which is cool as fuck. So Yeah. Yeah, That's sick. Definitely. And that'll leave a mark, you know. Yeah, absolutely. For others to, like, I wanna, I wanna be able to m- make enough money to like come back and be like, I'm gonna start a comedy club. Hell yeah! Even if it fucking bombs, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but still, I still try being able to do it. <laughs> yeah, 
I said, I want to... Fuck. <laughs> I want to uh, renovate that Martin Road skate park, man. They fixed up John Stiff like three times, but they ain't touched that one off the boulevard. I wanted... That's like a dream. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So you, <laughs> you think you'll probably like keep skating your whole life? Yeah, I think I will until my body won't allow me to. Cause, but I'll be cautious. Like I ain't trying crazy shit. I was trying when I was younger. Mm. But I still have hella fun, and I can still, still have some good shit. That's cool. <laughs> I'm very uncoordinated. So I'm scared of skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me some time, man, when I first started. That yeah. shit, I love it, though. Hell yeah. That's what's up. All right. So we're an hour 30 in. I can ask wrap-up questions. Uh, so if you could do, that's just one at a time, uh, prescribe everyone in the world to do one thing for 30 days, what would it be? Dang, uh, polyphonic sleep. What is that? Because <laughs> I did it, and like it's when you sleep, um, like four to five hours minimum mm-hmm. a day, and like it boosts like creativity and happiness. Four to five. Yeah, and like it takes like two weeks to get used to, but once you go over that hump, it like it, like it what just you, makes your brain like. What do you mean? Active. Like 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 four to five. Plus you can, the regular you can, amount? Yeah, you can, like, sleep straight four to five hours, mm-hmm. like, just straight on and then stay awake. Or you can just sleep, like, three hours and then throughout the day take naps. But it adds up to five. But that's that seems... You're more creative with less sleep? Yeah, it's... That sounds dangerous. Because, like, you're... <laughs> well, I mean, like, it, it's right. weird because your body adjusts. And, I guess like, that makes sense. You get more sunlight. And, like, I don't yeah. know, just... I remember when he did that. Hmm. It's okay. called polyphonic sleep. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, how much sleep do you get regularly? Like when well, now I don't do that. Yeah, I'd... went back. What, the polyphonic stuff? No, like how do you? How much sleep do you get now as compared to then? Oh man, I sleep in. <laughs> like I'd so, you you just quit that job. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's you'd like be sleeping. <laughs> if, you, if you're restricting your sleep, you're you're more creative. Is that kind of the the essence it's, of it? It's weird how it works. Yeah, it's like. But you, like, break it up. Yeah, when you break it up, so, like, mm-hmm. when you're working on something, for example, like, making a beat, take mm-hmm. a nap for, like, 30 minutes, come back, your brain's refresh, mm-hmm. and you're hearing it in a different way from when you were making it 30 minutes mm-hmm. ago. Okay. And it's, like, it's, like, a, a total refresh. Like, you're nice. rebooting your brain. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So, everyone will be polyphonically sleeping. Polyphonically. I don't think that's a word. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope I said that right. (laughs) You probably did. I'm going to write it down. (laughs) Polyphonic. I broke my pen. Oh, man. (laughs) Anyway, Mr. Um, Ugly, sir. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Same question. Yes. (laughs) Oh, dude. I would uh, would prescribe, like, physical workouts for 30 days to everybody. Even my dad himself. Like, once a day, at least do an hour. Yeah. You know, I feel like physical mm. activity just mentally does a lot for people. Yeah. And even, just your body. Even if it's just walking. Like yeah, exactly. Just walking helps your heart. Like, the chillest thing is, like, just something better than sitting on your ass. Mm-hmm. You know? It's, yeah. it's just not good for you. It's not. Do you um do you guys get, like, uh, your phone, does it tell you how long you've been on it? Like yeah. I, I get screen time notifications, and it's like, you were on social media six hours. Damn. It's like, I've... I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's very depressing. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I have but it's a wake up. It's a wake up call up. too. Yeah. So now, like, when I open an app, I'm like, all right, close that shit. Yeah, don't do stay on else. too long. Yeah. So it's good. It's good overall, but then you're just like, I'm <laughs> so disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> like that much of my life spent on those apps. It's a lot. Mostly at work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out desk jobs. <laughs> um, all right. Next question. If you go back in time at any any age um, and you could give yourself advice, what age would it be and what would you tell yourself? These are deep questions. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I'd go back to like 14 me 
or like right before high school and tell myself like none of this shit matters focus on something you give a fuck about yeah stop being scared of like people's opinions I would say, yeah, yeah. cuz god damn I wish I it's a great I wish answer. I started doing what I started doing mm-hmm. earlier man I wish I skated earlier I wish I started making music younger like yeah I think everyone feels that way yeah but you know that's just that's just the way my journey is my life journey so ooh, show Fuck it. Yeah. I'm 29 still rapping baby hey. hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah stick with it yeah you've been doing it you said 17 so 12 years yeah but there was there was three oh, okay four years I didn't work mm-hmm. on music there was years where I actually tried to have a skate company mm. and I was selling boards and merch that I designed and yeah I had kids on a team it wasn't nice. like licensed but we'd yeah. go take skate trips and film and that's dope yeah that was that was cool too was a cool time in my life but I didn't work on music then mm-hmm. but yeah that's badass I mean almost like seven years that's yeah. cool stick with it I think uh, I was listening to uh, Joey Diaz he's a comedian but like he's a big influence to me and he was just like he was talking about comedy and he's like for the first 10 years you're gonna eat shit it's gonna suck mm. but it's like after that it's like you're gonna quit after 10 years like what, yeah, what right? was the point in putting all that time in for real man so, yeah that's it's definitely how I feel it. it's like uh, be stupid to quit now yeah especially if you're putting everything into it yeah but yeah that's uh I'm trying to think of a good way to to wrap it up but that's a good way to do it shit yeah Go Hour bump 40. sabi shit next month. Yeah, bump sabi's <laughs> album. It's hey. called clickbait. Bu- oh yeah, clickbait. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I almost said nail bite. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah thanks for right. coming. Hell yeah. Clickbait. That's cool because it's like that's it's smart. It's clever. Clever it wording. Is. Thanks. I click and on it, this shit. It, it's <laughs> short. Yeah. It's nice. It's short as hell. Yeah. It's oh yeah. Short. Well. uh check these guys out you have a uh, bad grammar instagram uh ugly chulo is it just sabi on instagram yeah that's uh what's what sabi <laughs> what sabi with the u on the what yeah. what sabi you should, you should probably right. change. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway thanks for coming through thanks for listening everybody I'm we're right. out peace Help us take us in the give us pray the Lord he come and take us from the evil that we facing Dreaming, thinking, working, I'm still breathing, no complaining, homie No, no, my homie, smooth facing and told him drive through 24-7 I ain't on that proper shit That grandma teach your ass a lesson Jump the gate out the woods Face bulls, break them bull Rather have nothing, have stress and bull Empty-handed, tower tip, cage to span Working double, ain't a trophy, fuck a man Don't light a candle and a blunt Ricky you past the whiskey, never empty with a cup Focus fucked up, no, no, no su- suppressor Got the score, babe, no suppressor No suppressor, got the score, babe Lift my voice up, to the heavens Got the score, babe, no suppressor No suppressor, got the score, babe No suppressor, no suppressor Got the score, babe, no suppressor No suppressor, got the score, babe Lift my voice up, to the heavens Got the score, babe, no suppressor Legal in my younger, ugly when you hunger. Keep up thinking, stomach crumble. Start a bubble, start another. 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 Yeah. Dog get locked in, see the red dot kid. Goals up in plot, then I do this, keep it locked in. Burn the bridge and talk shit about it. I been crying, going bitch about it. I don't live but a lie. But I tend to break a lot. I ain't no thief, it's a friend and a op. You sit a tie, call up a cop. We had a weed in the house, the barbecue was at the spot. Pull up, take over the block, and sift at the clock in the box. Love like Michael, I kick with a hand in my crotch. No Zanny, I'm dancing around on the rock. Weed in my shoe, catching my sock. No suppressor, 
no suppressor, got the scope, eh? No suppressor, no suppressor, got the scope, eh? Lift my voice up to the heavens, got the scope, eh? No suppressor, no suppressor, got the scope, eh? No suppressor, no suppressor, got the scope, eh? No suppressor, no suppressor, got the scope, eh? Lift my voice up to the heavens, got the scope, eh? No suppressor, no suppressor, got the scope, eh?